More than 500 separate letters of support have been sent on our behalf to Secretary Chu at the Department of Energy. Letters of support were sent from legislators, members of Congress, statewide elected officials, leaders of business and industry, labor leaders, education officials, and local economic development organizations. This is an incredible show of support, solidarity, and leadership on behalf of the people of the state. We're here today to update you on the progress of this effort and to detail the economic impact that would come from this project's success. In a moment, we will begin our small modular reactor economic development summit. During this summit this afternoon, you'll hear about how higher education institutions can support the workforce training needs of this state-of-the-art industry. It is no accident uh, that we are here in Columbia uh, with the nuclear program, RALA with the nuclear program, Lintec with a great technical advantage there in the heartland here. Uh, all of those higher education institutions are key partners uh, in helping us win the future in this area. you also hear from Joe Heiser, Executive Vice President of EOP Foundation, which is a national nonprofit organization which provides expert budget and economic analysis. Mr. Hazer co-authored a global market study with the University of Chicago and is here today to discuss the economic markets open to small nuclear reactors. And you'll hear from Alex Flint with the Nuclear Energy Institute about the future of nuclear energy. To provide an overview of the workforce that will be on the front lines of building these new products, we have James Moss with the United Association of Plumbers and Pipefitters. And after these presentations, there will be a panel discussion moderated by Missouri Chamber of Commerce President Dan Meehan. Before we begin the summit, I would like to take just an opportunity to briefly describe why Missouri is the place for this kind of groundbreaking project. First of all, you can see by the unprecedented group of folks standing with us today. You have numerous legislators, senators, representatives, uh, from not only from this region, but from throughout the state. And I appreciate all of their great help already and their willingness to make sure that we win this opportunity here.